Greetings! JC here. As I said last time, it's a new game. Yes, welcome to Dyson Sphere program. If it wasn't blatantly obvious by the thing in the top left and the big sphere. What's interesting is when I did a little audio test, this, this bit on here, this was different. So it shows you a different one every time. That's because everybody's playthroughs are uploaded to the Milky Way, I think. It's... I don't know. I'm new here. I haven't even played the damn game. Look, no continue. I didn't even do a test. You get to see me going in absolutely bloody blind. Which is always, always good for hilarious stupidity. So... Without further ado, we should start a new game. I have no clue what the hell. Resource, I'm just gonna leave it at standard and we can just, I don't know. This, this is, the cluster seed is that with 64 stars. Do we really need 64 stars? You just see them blink out of existence. Oh, 32 is the minimum you can have, you can have there is a black hole here. There it is. Got some dodgy ones right on the outside that aren't really connected to the main block. That's you're gonna wink out of existence out there. Come on, off you go. Go and get lost. Oh. Okay, maybe not then. Fine. Fine, we're going to have the full number. Even with the weird outlying clusters. White Dwarf. Oh. That's where we're starting. Right there, in the middle. Red Giant close by as well. You'll probably be able to see that from where we start. Well... I guess we messed around with it, so we'll just go. Oh, I better be careful. Welcome to the actual universe. You may find it's different from our homeland. Should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time, I am your advisor and will help you through this mission. Bit close. Everything here is yours. As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster step by step. By using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain homeland starting from scratch. I have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission, which has necessary resources for initial development. Now please drive the space capsule to the planet. We don't actually have any control over this. This is going to be a, um, what we would officially class as a ear. Point the nose at it and hit it. Don't miss. Now you are about to reach the designated planet. Oh, it veered off. I was kind of hoping for just a splat landing. To put things into perspective here, those are trees, full trees. Look at the size of this thing. This is Icarus, a lightweight industrial mecha with powerful functionality. You can use the arrow keys or right-click on the destination to control its movement. In this mission, you will manipulate Icarus to travel beyond the stars and create miracles. You can also, though it says direction keys, you can also use W, A, S, and D. Like any normal now person. Now try to recycle the space capsule. Right-click on it to recycle.
You can use the same operation to collect resources, such as trees, gravel, etc. In the meantime, hold down shift and right click to give a series of commands. Like so. several items after recycling the space capsule. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen to open the cabin to view them. Inventory, or E. There it is. Yeah, I'm done, thanks. Oh, those are iron. That's iron. That's plant. You can hold down mouse middle button drag to rotate the angle of view or slide the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Yeah, if my mouse wheel wasn't broken, so um, I have to use a different set of buttons. I'm gonna collect all of it. Oh, crude oil straight off the bat, look at that. What's that, stone? Well, that's a small amount of iron, but there's a massive lump of iron there. There's stone there. Yet you have not unlocked the construction menu, which will be done automatically when complete any technology research. Click the technology tree button at the bottom right of the screen to open the technology tree and activate a research. Uh, the first thing is called Dyson Sphere uh, Electromagnetism because I can't do anything else. I'm gonna need some magnets. We produce two, so I just need to do this five times. Go! Gives you just enough resources. You have to do manually. You have to have manual research, manual processing. Ugh. Oh, it was background noise. Building mining machines in vain coverage. Right. Thank you very much. Research. Power. Nodes. And mining. Okay. Upgrades. You have created a mining machine to achieve ore collecting automation. Pick it up from the inventory or select it on gathering of construction menu to build it. Or gathering. Oh, two. There. There. I have one in my inventory. Ugh, oh, I have one. You can use the R key to rotate the mining machine for covering more veins. The more veins covered, the faster the ores will be gathered. If you want to ignore grit snapping, try holding down the shift key. That's what one do the all time. Six. Six seems to be the best, so we're gonna go down there because it looks pretty doing it that way. Plop! There we go. Isn't that nice? One of your production facilities is not powered. You need to keep it within the power coverage area and supply it with power facilities in order to maintain its normal works. Gas giant. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? Well, I guess I should really build a. One of these, put it within the, the range, and then stick one of these. You have done building the first power transmission facility, Tesla Tower. It can carry out short distance wireless power transmission and expand the power supply area of the power grid. Click on it to view the current power grid information. There we go, look. Wind turbine. You have established your first power grid. Not all power facilities has its power supply area. Use the Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. These tricks me. I didn't need to put the tower down. Because this has an area of its own. But, I mean... Yoink! Milestone. Wind power. Thank you. 
I'll get estimations. No, no, no. I'll right click out of that. Right. I suppose I should really make new thingies. Turn ore into that. Does anything actually need ore, or is it purely. Yep. It's all requires. Oh no. Magnets require that. Right ho. What's next then? Dear technology tree. Ugh. What's that? What's that do? It's a smelter. All right. Which means I don't have to auto. I don't have to do manual smelting. All right. Well, I'll activate that. Which means I'm going to need ten magnets. Means I'm going to need ten of these. Build that. Done individually, funnily enough. Still got copper plates? I've got five copper plates. Which is exactly what I'll need. I'll need five of them. Now I'm going to need to make this, which requires iron, but also that, which means I need to go and manually go and collect some copper, which is just over there. There is no run faster. You can tell this is going to take forever. We won't be doing this very much. Let's see. Oh, stop trying to tell me about upgrades and stuff. Ah, oh, right, I see. It requires stuffs. Okay. Well. Any kind of combination that oh, just produce it then. One copper into one bar. Okay, and it does uh, tell you these bars can go into coils or circuits. Which is stuff, which is stuff. Num, num, nah, which is what I will be needing if I could talk. So I'm gonna need or. Four more of that. Four more of that. I'm going to need two more of these, which means I'm going to need I'm just going to need two of those. One of those produced. Uh, I need some gears. Two of those, yeah, two of those and two circuits. Produces two at a time. There you go, double click buildings, that. Build one. Tough very much. Right, right, close. Of Kaya of Vina. Boom. Oh, glorious. Now all I need to do is get power over there, obviously. Means I now need to build one of these. Not a tech tree. Let's get this research out of the way, shall we? Uh, I need 
need to produce for. Oh, it's automatically producing this, the prerequisites. That's handy. There you go. Let the research get through all that. So I need... Three of these. I need to do that. Ooh, I have glass. Isn't that nice? Uh, you've unlocked a smelter, which will automatically base material. Oh, close that. There you go. You've unlocked the smelter. It will automatically spelt base materials such as iron and copper ingots for you. Uh, to achieve full automation, you need to use sorters and, yeah, belts and stuffs. I have three of these. Ooh, isn't that nice? What I said... Can I just go... Look, build whatever prerequisites I need. Excellent. You can now build the smelter to convert ores into more advanced materials. Auto-magically. Yes, thank you. Well, I kind of need it to mine first. Then I'm going to just place one of these down here. You built a smelter, which can smelt basic materials, such as iron ingots and copper ingots automatically. While you want to make the raw materials and products get in and out of it autonomously, you need to use sorters and conveyor belts. Thanks, mate. Apparently I actually have a wind turbine. Oh no, that's just because I can construct. Let's see if we can link up the two grids. You have a building without recipe set. Please set the recipe you want. After selecting the recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. Oh. Right. Copy and paste. Copy paste. Right. How does one set that? The right click. Right. Mining. That's the mining machine, you dumb. There we go. Fixed it. Iron. Please produce iron, you. Please produce copper. After selecting the recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe and the greater than key to paste the next Thanks. building that needs you to told me the that. same recipe. Oh wow, it can only hold 20 at a time. Oh, that's a bit shit. Right, we need that automation. Ah, basic logistics. Activate. Will you stop asking me about the... God damn... Look. Lovely, isn't it? I couldn't give a flying what's it about the upgrades. I have tech to get first. So I don't have to keep manually shoving things into other things. Right. So now I need to manually make... It was like... Ten of these. Ten of each. Right. You make ten. Ooh. Make me ten. Ah, there we go. My mech panel. Fuel generation, lack of fuel. Oh, there's my fuel chamber. Well, I'm sorry, trees, but um, you make the best kind of fuel. Wood and plant fuel. As we all know, wood. Energy is required in all mega activities. 
If it is depleted, the activities will be restricted. You can click the Mecha Panel button at the bottom right of the screen to open the Mecha Panel and resupply fuel into the fuel chamber. Fuel chamber generation minus 30%. Just throw that in there. And we'll throw some logs in there as well while we're at it. There we go! Do we need wood for anything? I don't friggin' know. But... We're, we're throwing things in there. What? We have belts! We have belt spaghetti. Conveyor belts and sorters. Yep. Standard thing. Which I will now start learning about. You have received the sorter and the conveyor belt, which can achieve full automation now. Use the conveyor belt to transport the piled up ores from the mining machine, and the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. Right. At this point, they say it's a sorter. But if, you, if they're familiar with even the other game that looks very much like this one, I think that's like the, the swingy arm things in Factorio, which would be grabber. These do the same thing. So we're gonna go from here and come out. Putting a conveyor belt, all you need to do is determine the starting point and the end point of it. In addition, use the up arrow key to lift up one level and use the down arrow key to drop down one level after the conveyor belt is lifted. Press keypad zero to reset the construction height of the conveyor belt to the ground. If you don't want the conveyor belt to be attached to the building, you can try holding down the shift key. Right, I'm sure I remember all of that. The sorter is a transportation connector of cargoes between facilities. It will automatically transport them as long as the supply facility and the receiving facility are bridged. What he said. Oh no, I lack the item. And because I'm being lazy. No, no, I'm not going to be lazy. I don't want to double click on that. Uh, make one, please. I just, just need a bell. Oh, it makes three at a time. Okay. There we go. And I'll take this. You. Grab onto there. Automation. Uh, you plant your first conveyor belt and enter the area of automation with 17 meter long campfire socks. Consume at least 40 wood by burning it. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So there we go. We now have. Oh, that was out. My bad. I need to... How can I pull... Ah. Dismantle that. Right, that's trying to put it out, not pull it in. My bad. There you go, we learned something. Get rid of that. Go back to logistics. This, you start here and go in. See now it automatically shoves it in. Look at that! Wonderful. Core. Cool. Oh, I was doing the thing. What else have we got now? Yeah, no, we're not going to do improved logistics. Not yet. Ah, basic assembly. A load of these things require, but if you move on, yeah. Everything else beyond this point requires these cubes. Thermal power. Oh, power plants requires. Ah, some of the other things in this stage require it as well. So as far as I can see, the only things that don't require these cubes is this one. And this one, because that's basically bootstrapping. 
Apparently I just need some gears. All right. I double click on that. Can you make 10 gears for me, please? Thank you. And we'll queue that up as well. Which requires... I'm going to need, oh no, five of these, five of those, and I'm going to want five of those. I lack the materials, do I? Well, I guess, I guess I'll just go and, um, yoink it out of there. Come over here and yoink that out of there. And an assembler. Yes, this is used for making these things automatically. Yay! I have the basics of automation. Or to make magnetic coils and anything that isn't a basic resource. All right, so I'm gonna need some more of these, am I? And that requires raw ore. When I click on that, I oink. I do need some raw ore apparently at this stage. That's all right. I mean, probably the first thing I could probably do is the magnetic coils. What are they used for? At the moment, straight into magnetic coils. Right, so they're only used for coils. Intriguing. Coils are used for basic stuff. Well, I can probably see what I'm going to try and automate first. Coils. I mean, it's kind of in the right area between the two of these. I have to pull it off of there first and then pull that stuff over. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, uh, that makes my head hurt. That right, just move the smelters into a cent more centralised smelting area. For me, my big brain plans. I'm sitting here going, oh, build it manually. You, uh, I'd like you to make that. Cool. Very big brain plans and trying to. It's probably a good idea to move, at least move this away from here. Because if I want to put in another one, it's going to have to be around about here anyway. Yes, I don't supply enough power. Thank you very much. I'm well aware that I'm not supplying enough power. Hey, now we've got automated research. And that's it. I can't actually do anything more here. All requires cubes. All right, upgrades. What's that? Requires cubes. That. Oh. All right. What else have we got? Vertical construction requires cubes. Nope. In utilization? No. Nope. But that's it. That's it. We have nothing else because everything else requires the cubes. Oh no. That requires something else. Well, we can't do that one because we can't make electric motors. Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah. So, uh, I guess... Oh. We're going to have to start sorting out some kind of... Storage. There's production. Ah, uh, see, there's research. So... Yeah! 
going to need to make glass automatically as well. Oh well, I've got more power. I could have sworn I had some glass on me. I do have glass on me. Do I? Not anymore. No, I don't. Uh, yes, I can now ma build a matrix lab. That's that's very nice. Maybe what I should do is just manually build one. Oh, I can just smell stone into glass. It's logic, Jim, but not as we know it. I know you kind of can get that from... Yeah, sort of. <laughs> so just sort of. Uh, I'm just going to go around collecting some more. Some more stuff, especially from down around about here. We're going to be building up in here. I intend to move. Oh, actually, this one's fine, but this one probably does need to be moved. So, I slurp all that lot up as well. We go back into uh, that's actually storage. Go. Logistics. Production, that was it. I'm going to come up to here. And stick it just about there. That'll do. Remove that tree, please. Oh, no. It's my keyboard again. I keep pressing the wrong stuff. Right. Meanwhile, pull that out of there. Build it over to there. There we go. Right. Build some more. Conveyor belts are always going to be useful. Oh, it's going to be f empty soon. Let's just chuck all this plant matter in there. And the wood. There we go, right. Yeah, thanks for reminding me I can now build the, uh, the matrix QB thing. Okay, um, okay, I manually built two. I manually built one. Because I was an idiot and I forgot that we actually automatically built it. So I'm going to pop it up here. I'm not going to build it. Matrix Lab. You can use it to make super matrices or research technologies that require them to unlock. The super matrices are the source code of the center brain for maintaining the home world. You can upload as many super matrices to the center brain as possible. You can be benefit to unlock more actual world technologies by operating the home world simultaneously. And if that made any sense to you, good. It didn't make a blind bit of difference to me. Ah, oh, yes, you talk big words. What? In essence, what you're doing is you're shoving cubes you're making cubes that can then be used and to be shared with big brain back home because humans are not in flesh bodies, we's in the matrix. I think. Uh, please make these things, which requires magnetic coils and circuit boards. I guess at this point we now have a goal. We need to feed this thing with magnetic coils 
and circuit boards of which we already have the materials being processed here and here so we can produce them over here and just shove them in this is like bootstrap I, I don't intend this to actually be permanent but that that looks like a very fiery world tasty but uh, yeah I guess at this point we have made a start how far can I zoom in I wonder whether there is a button to get rid of my UI. I'm pretty sure there's a button to get rid of my UI. Oh, oh, zoom in, zoom out. I gotta make the thumbnails, you know this by now. This is thumbnail fodder. Yeah, look. Big mech and, and an even bigger thingy. Go away, thank you. There we go. Um, yes. So, uh, on that note, we will try and uh, next time is um, research automation. Yeah. So, thank you for watching. Until next time, this is JC. Out. Would you point that thing at me?